Hey Grace family, my name's Michael, and if we haven't had the pleasure of meeting each other, I get the joy being the outreach pastor here at Grace. And just for the next few moments, I wanted to come to you and share my heart with you about something that I found here in the Bible. In 1 Thessalonians 5, Paul says something really remarkable that I think we can all hold true to in our own hearts. And he says, Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you, in Christ Jesus. And maybe you're like me. I grew up in a tradition where I always heard this story taught to me in kids' church, and I was always told, I just need to be happy. And if I'm happy and I'm constantly praying, God will give me everything that I desire. And in all reality, that's the exact opposite of what Paul's trying to communicate here. Paul is on his second missionary journey, and he's writing this from the Corinthian church, and he sends one of his followers, Timothy, back to Thessalonica to check on the believers because just a few weeks, a few months prior, Paul was pushed out of the city because of a riot there by the Roman Empire. And so Paul sends Timothy back to check in on all the believers in the church. And Timothy comes back and he says, hey man, they're struggling. There's, there's some real persecution and pain that's happen, happening in the Thessalonican church. And so Paul writes this, rejoice always and pray continually. And for many of us, we may look at prayer sometimes as an opportunity to pray that God would remove something from us. But that's actually not what Paul's saying. What Paul is saying is, Thessalonica church, I see that you're struggling. I see that you're in pain. I see that you're suffering. But pray continually and rejoice always. And when you look at the original language here, when he talks about prayer, he's not talking about going into our closet and praying to the Lord. He's not talking about our quiet time that we have every day. What he's talking about is a holistic version of trending our heart posture to Jesus. Because it's when we do that that we realize that the whole point of prayer is not always to just take something from us and to remove our pain. The whole point of prayer is more about God shaping who we are meant to become. And in our prayer, we are shown that no matter what we struggle with, no matter the suffering, no matter the persecution, Jesus Christ is enough. And so my prayer for all of us as we step into this week of prayer together is that we would be reminded that there's nothing that we're going through that has more power than the cross of Jesus Christ. And it is in him and him alone that we find everything that we need. Can we pray together very quickly? Lord, we love you. We thank you for all that you are. We thank you for all that you're doing. And Lord, I just thank you that you are with us in all circumstances and in all seasons. And so, Lord, I just pray that we would be reminded that although we struggle and although we are in pain and although we walk through hardships in our life in this brand new year, we just want to be reminded that you are enough in all of it. So we give you the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. We love you, Grace family. We'll see you soon.